okay, in the last movie we ran some code that created some uh, collision detection so that when the hero crosses an enemy, we get this kill hero output to the um, output window. So now we actually have to change that from just a simple trace statement to actually get the code to actually do something for the hero. So what we'll do is we'll go in here and we can see here, there it is, we wrote this function alien hit test and in there there's our collision detection. We loop through all of the aliens and if one of them is crossing paths on the X and Y axis with the hero we get a collision and then we traced it, right? So what we'll do is we'll comment that out and then we can start um, deciding what it is that we want to do. Now um, what I want to do is I want to when this happens let's just run a function so we'll just call a function we'll say when that happens kill hero open and close parentheses and then a semicolon so if we get a collision we'll call a function called kill hero and now all we have to do is write that function so we'll go down here outside of our function this is the entire block for this function so we go below two lines right or whatever and we write our function kill capital H hero um, function kill hero open and close parentheses open curly brace and then a close curly brace alright so there's the outline for it and so now when there's a collision it'll call this function so now we just have to say what do we want to do with our function well two things that we want to do right off the bat is we want to delete space the hero dot on enter frame handler delete hero dot on enter frame just like that right and then what we can do is we can say hero dot remove movie clip okay we can do that we can remove that movie clip from the stage and we do that we need to open and close parentheses after that okay um, that looks right and what we can also do is delete the aliens dot on enter frame handler delete aliens on enter frame okay so what that'll do is these on enter frame handlers are they take up a lot of uh, processor power because they're running 24 frames per second or however fast your your uh, movies running so we have a hero on enter frame we have an aliens dot on frame we should and we have a movie clip called hero so let's see if that works so we'll hit control enter click here to begin and what happens when we click it should the hero should be removed from the stage and the aliens should stop moving and let's see what happens okay and it worked the aliens stopped moving because we deleted the aliens dot on enter frame handler which called the move aliens function you know 24 times per second or whatever our frame rate is our frame rates actually you can see it here frames per second 30 and it deleted the hero on enter frame handler we don't need it running if the hero is not going to be there and it removed the hero from the stage right so the hero died okay so that worked so okay now that looks good and the reason that worked is because up here at the top let's see here let's see here create hero function create hero hero dot enter on enter frame right so we had there's the hero dot on enter frame handler on enter frame handler which is calling this function right so we deleted that and then the alien one just showing you where everything's located and the alien one there's the aliens dot on enter frame handler that's calling that right 30 frames per second so we just basically kinda shut those down and remove the hero right so now what else do we want to do well if we lose the hero another thing that we want to do is let's see here game level score I'm looking for lives 
lives. Okay, we don't have that, so let's put it in. Game level, and we could say game lives by default equals every character we start off with what? Three lives, right? So we make a variable here up in our init function for our lives, which equals three. And then when we lose a hero, what we do is we say game lives minus minus, right? So you lose a life, basically. So that's another thing that we can happen that can happen on our um, on our kill hero function. Now the other thing that I'd like to do is when the hero dies, I'd like to run kind of like a death sequence. So what I did was off screen I made a little movie clip called Hero Die. So basically what I did was is I said insert new symbol and I typed MC you know hero die or whatever movie clip right and I made a movie clip and so let's take a look at it right now it only exists in the library so hero die right and I probably should have named it for consistency I'm gonna rename it right now rename MC dash hero die right Okay, so let's double click on it so we can take a look at this little movie clip that I made. So I'll double click on it and we'll take a peek at it. And basically what I did was is I made a little let's go to timeline, a little frame sequence here that I started off by pasting the hero graphic, the standing hero graphic, pasted that in the center right on the bottom keyframe, and then on top of it I drew some stuff. And let's take a look at what I drew. I drew this little frame sequence of the hero just exploding. So when the hero dies, he's going to explode. A little bit like happened in the, I think that's what happened in the original Robotron game, something like that. Now if we zoom in here, you'll see that all I did was do some colored squares for the death sequence. So I thought simpler the better, right? Little 4x4 four four squares, and I made a little frame animation, right, that goes just like that. Okay, so now what we can do is, when the hero dies, we can try to attach this movie clip in place of the hero so that the viewer can see the death sequence. So, if we look in the library, you'll see MC Hero Die, right click on it, Properties. You can see I gave it the um, linkage identifier, export for action script, export in frame one, hero underscore die, basically instance name or identifier. So now in our code what we can do is we can say when the hero dies the first thing that we do is attach movie right so we'll run an attach movie function there we go capital M for movie open and close parentheses and a semicolon and we say attach and then in quotation marks hero underscore die then new name hero underscore die we can give it the same name for the new name then the depth level we'll set it to 10,000 right we could even set it to 11 I'm not sure if we can do 11,000 let's try it and do we have any items that are at 11,000 the hero depth is 10,000 right so we'll put his at We'll do his at 10,001. All right, so 10,001. And after we do that, we'll put another comma. And then what we can do is we can do some special um, init object calls here. So in, in curly braces, OK, so I put curly braces in here. Notice in between the parentheses, I added these little curly braces. And I'm going to say x position colon heroes whoops hero dot underscore x and then comma underscore y colon hero underscore y and what that's gonna do is it's gonna place this movie clip automatically 
in the same x position as the hero's x position and in the same and in the y position of the hero's y position and that's hero dot underscore y and this needs to be hero dot underscore y all right so we attach that movie all right and let's see if that works all right so we hit control enter click here to begin and the hero's going to get hit boom and then you can see as soon as he gets hit the movie clip gets attached and you can see the explosion happening now it's looping over and over again so we need to remove the movie clip right after it um, after it functions so that it doesn't play over and over again so to do that okay so to do this all we're gonna do is it'll be really easy if we just go into our movie clip for the hero die sequence so I'll double click on it and we're zoomed in here so I'll zoom back out all right and at the end right after it runs this sequence what we'll do is make a new layer drag it to the top and drag this keyframe to the end and we'll put a piece of code here right so we'll click on this keyframe right here and we say stop open and close parentheses stop action with a semicolon at the end and then this meaning this movie clip dot remove movie clip and then open and close parentheses and then a semicolon and now if we do this and run the game you'll see that click here to begin move the character and boom and so then the little death sequence happens and the character died so it gives us some feedback about what happens when the character hits one of these uh, bad guys